All right, let's do this, guys. This is homework for factoring by grouping. This is the basic version, which means that most likely it's going to be set up for you to be successful. You don't have to do much. Just group it according to the way they look. Every now and then, it may not work out, and you may have to reorganize them, but let's just try it with it just being set up just the way it is. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, and notice that all of these have four terms. All right, so each of these have four terms. Okay, so the first one is 8r to the third minus 64r squared. I'm going to go ahead and put those two together in a group. Right, so that's going to be 8r third minus 64r squared. Let's put that together. And we're going to add it to this other grouping of r minus 8. All right. about as big as it goes All right so now find out what they have in common what well, you can factor out of each one so it looks like I can factor out an 8 and r squared and if I do that I would be left with 8 divided by 8 is 1 so that means I don't have to write it r to a third divided by r second is r and then 64 divided by 8 is 8 r to the second divided by r to the second because I'm taking r to the second out means that I am left with no more R's. So plus, and then I already have R minus 8, right? Now, if you want, you can say, well, there's a 1 in front of it. So that way, when I factor it out, it's going gonna, it's gonna to actually come out. Okay, so by doing this, I can, I can factor this R minus 8 out, and I will have a R minus 8 outside of the the parentheses, what parentheses you ask? This one, the one that, this one that they, that these one, two terms live in. Okay. So it's an even bigger parentheses outside of what you're used to. Okay. It's invisible because we don't need it. But if you need it to show up so you can see it, you just draw it in. And then what's left over. So again, if I draw it in, right? So if I factor out the R minus eight, meaning that this is gone. In fact, out the r minus 8 means this is gone. What do you have left? Well, I have 8r squared plus 1. And that's your answer. Okay. Okay, I'll leave it like that. If you need to, you can rewind it. Okay, again, I'm going to go ahead and factor according to the way they show up. So 12p to a third minus 21p to a second. Group them together. Plus 28 P minus 49. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and factor out. Let's see. Um, let's factor the 3 out. The first 2, 3, and P squared. If I factor the 3, I'll be left with 4. If I factor P to the second, I'll be left with P. 21, if I factor the 3, I'll be left with 7. And then P squared, if I factor out P squared, I'm left with no more P's. Okay, 28p minus 49. So I can't factor any p's because 49 doesn't have a p. But I think I can factor out 7. And 28. And I was a little stuck for a second, but I looked here. And I'm like, okay, well, 28 divided by 4 will give me 7. So that's how I knew that I need to factor out a 7. Okay, so if I take out a 7, I'll be left with 4p. Negative 49, if I take out a 7 or divide by 7, I'll be left with 7. Okay, again, you have these two terms right here. I can factor it out because they're exactly the same. So what did I factor out? I factored out a 4p minus 7. And what's left over is the 3p squared plus 7. Okay. Number three, again, fact, just factor the way it is. So 63 n to the third minus 54 n squared. And then I'm, this is a little tricky because it's a minus. So you don't put minus and then 105 in the, in the parentheses, okay? You're going to put a plus and minus. That way a positive and negative makes a negative. 105 and minus 90. 
Okay. So you're going to factor out what the 63 and 54 have in common. Right? Ooh. Hmm. Tell you. Um, nine. Right, let's factor out nine n squared. So seven n minus n is six plus. And then again, if you're not sure about how to how what to take out of 105 and 9, I mean, think about what you have left, right? So ideally, we should have a 7n left right here. Okay, right there. That should be a 7n. So I'm going to go ahead and take 105, negative 105, but so negative 105. And I'm going to actually divide it by 7. See what I have left. So that means 15, which means from 90, I can also take out or divide by 15. You see it? It comes out to be 7 and 6. So if I factor out a negative 15, I should be able to make it work. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and factor out negative 15. So, one, so one, negative 105 divided by, divided by negative 15 gives me 7n. And I'm willing to bet negative 90 divided by negative 15 will give me Negative. Positive 6. Hmm. Did I copy that wrong? Yes, I did. See this little plus right here? It should be plus. Which means this should be plus. Because if I get negative, um, negative 90 divided by negative 15 should give me positive 6. Which would work. Okay, again, now that I have this right here, I can factor this out. This right here, I can factor it out. And I'm factoring out 7n plus 6 from both. Left over, I will have 9n squared plus minus 15. It's just going to be minus 15. Oh, I see something pretty cool. You can actually factor out a 3 from both of these. Okay, but let's save that for another day. Okay, right now we're just doing simple factoring for the time. Let me just see. What does the direction say? It says, oh, factor each completely. So we have to factor it completely. Which means, yes, that needs to be factored all the way through. Okay. Which means that that 9n minus 15, that needs to be with a 3 taken out. So if I take out a 3 from there, I will have a 3 and 3n minus 5. That's what the 3 does when I take the 3 out. You can check 3 times 3n is 9n squared, and 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. And then you also have that 7n plus 6. And I'm going to put the 3 all the way in the front. Okay, so that's my final answer. Okay, number 4, I'm going to go ahead and group 21k third minus 84k squared. Plus, and then I'm going to go ahead and put 15k minus 60. Okay. So, what can I take out of both? Hmm. Well, I'm going to actually start with 15 and 60, right? So, 15. Uh, I'm thinking 15. Okay. Because 60 is 15. Yeah, so if I take out a 15, I'll be left with K minus, and 60 divided by 15 is uh, 4. Okay. You can double check that. 60 divided by 15 gives you 4. Okay. And so if I have 21K and 84K, then that means that I actually need to, to divide by 21. Right? Because 84 divided by 21 should give me 4. Okay. So if I take 21 out of both, so 21K squared, 21K squared divided by 21K to the third is just K to. The first, 84, we already talked about that, divided by 20, oops, 1, gives you 4. And we're taking out a K. That's 21, by the way, guys. Okay, and again, if you look here, you have that K minus 4. You can factor out of both. So we will have K minus 4. Left over is 21k squared plus 15 
And oh, you know what? I think I can factor out a three out of both of those. So three and seven makes 21. And three and five makes 15. And then I also have the K minus four. Okay, five. <clears throat> and then go ahead and group it. 96M to the third. That's N, by the way. N to the third. Minus 84N squared. And we're going to add it to 112N minus 98. Okay, so big numbers here, guys. Hmm, 90, so I'm going to use a calculator. Let's just see. Uh, 96 and 84, you can, you can divide both by 2, which will leave you with another uh, even number. So let's divide by 4. So 96 divided by 4, and 84 divided by 4. So 24 and 21. And then in there, you can... So, so far we divide by four, but inside 24 and 21, there's a three. That's a factor of 24 and 21. So I can divide by another three. So four times three. So I can divide by 12. So I'm pretty sure 96, you can divide by 12. And 84, you can divide by 12. And that leaves me eight and seven. So I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm going to divide this by 12 in square. Okay, and that again... That's going to leave you 8 in minus 7. Okay. 112 and, nine, and uh, negative 98. Uh, again, I, I'm not sure, but I do know that that 112 needs to somehow look like 8. So that means I'm going to divide it by 8. And, then, and that's what's going to be used to help. So 112 divided by 8 gives me 14. So that means I need to take 14 out, okay, because I need 8 to be left over. So I need to take 14 out. And 112 divided by 14 now. So I'm so I'm doing what I know to get what I don't know. So I'm going to go 112 divided by 14. I know it's going to be 8, right? So it's going to be 8 in. And now I know that 98, I should be dividing by 14 also. So that's how you kind of work it out, and that should be 7. Again, these two come out. So I have 8 in minus 7. And left over is 12 in squared plus 14. And it looks like I can take 2 out of the 12 and the 14. So if I divide it by 2, it be 2 times 7. Oops, sorry, not 7. 6 in squared. And then that'll be 7. 2 times 7 is 14. And then I also have the 8 in minus 7. Okay. This so next one 28v to the third plus 16v squared. And again, it has a minus, so I'm going to go ahead and put a plus and then a minus 21v minus 12. Okay. You don't want to write it as a multiplication. All right. 20, uh, 28, 7 and 4, 16 is 4. So I think I'm going to have to factor it out 4V squared. Okay, so factor out 4, it will be 7V. 16V squared divided by 4 will just be 4. Right? And 20, negative 21 and negative 12, I'm thinking I'm going to factor a negative 3 out. Okay, so negative 21 divided by negative 3 is 7V. Negative 12 divided by negative 3 is positive 4. You can see it matches up. I'm going to go ahead and take these and factor it out. So I will be factoring out 7v plus 4 for both terms. And left over, I will have a 4v squared plus minus, which just makes minus 3. And nothing in common, so we're done there. Okay. Last two for this first page. That, I think I, I'm going to make this into a two-part, okay? So I'm going to do a back part on a second video. Um, the program I'm using, it's, uh, it's limited to 30 minutes. So it's, it's, you know, that's what the school uses. And 
it's not allowing us to go extra. So let's travel that, guys. Okay, number seven. Go ahead and group it according to the way it looks. 24p to a third plus 15p squared minus or plus a minus 56p minus 35. Okay, 24 and 15, I'm thinking 3. And then p squared. 24 divided by 3 is 8. And p3, to get rid of 2, means you leave with 1. 15 divided by 3 is 5. And then p squared divided by p squared is no more p's. Right? So I know that it has to be left over 56. It has to be 8, so it means I have to divide it by negative 7. All right, so that's going to give me 8p and negative 35 divided by negative 7 is positive 5. So that actually works out pretty nice. So I'm going to take this right here and I'm going to factor it out. I'm going to take this quantity here, factor it out. Sometimes I scribble, sometimes I do the that. So it kind of depends on what I feel like. So I'm going to have 8p plus 5. And left over, I will have. 3p squared plus minus, which means minus 7. And nothing I can do there. That's the best I got. Okay, last one. 24r third minus 64r squared plus a minus 21r plus 56. Okay, remember, each of these are, in, are individual terms. So if I do multiplication, they don't become individual terms. That's why I need that plus right there. To separate it. Oops. Plus 56. All right. So 24 and 64, um, 8. Right. So I'm going to go 8 R to the second. 24 divided by 8 is 3. And then R, 64 divided by 8 is 8. And no more R's. Okay, so that means I need to have a 3. So negative 21 and 3, I need I need to take out 7. So I would say negative 7 comes out. This will give me 3R. Negative 21R divided by negative 7 is 3R. Positive 56 divided by negative 7 is going to be a negative 8. And that actually does match. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and take this and factor it out. So I'm factoring out 3R minus 8. And what's left over is the...